Hello, my name is Ivar. As I have a degree in philosophy, I sometimes call myself money philosopher because I like to dive deeper into money-related issues. And if you have ever experienced how it feels to spend money and regret it later, this video is for you. And please turn on the subtitles for better comprehension. Our money spending decisions are based on two parts of the brain. The right one is responsible for the buying and the left one has to explain everything to why. We do most of our overspending decisions based on emotions. All our debts come from emotional buying decisions. And if you are in debt, it means that you did something wrong. Those decisions brought you some pleasure and you had some short-term satisfaction. Perhaps you bought those nice shoes expecting to show them at a fancy cocktail party or that expensive training equipment expecting to get in shape or a new iPhone even though your iPhone 5 still works. People do many emotional decisions. Those decisions feel good for a short time, but there is one rule in life. If you choose pleasure now, the pain will come later. If you choose pain now, it will be followed by pleasure. In the long run, emotional decisions brought death, because the credit card statement shows that someone is sinking. And if a few months ago your debt was below your belly, now it's rising above your chin and it makes you to look for immediate action. So you go to bookstore and buy some book about money saving and how to get rid of debt. Having no other option, you follow all the guidelines that you find, you repay one debt at a time based on Ramsey's advice and immediately save $1,000. And you say, wow, Ramsey's stuff works. I got out of some debt. But why? did you get out of your debt? Because the fear of sinking in debt was bigger than buying pleasure at that time. Instead of pleasure-based decision, you started making fear-based decisions. And also the fear of sinking in debt forced you to turn on some intellect. In the left part of your brain, you start calculating. But the trigger for calculation is fear. So you just replaced one emotion with the other and it doesn't mean that your future money spending decisions will be wise and you won't get in debt again. It could be that as soon as you get back in your comfort zone, as soon as the debt drops down to your knee level, you will start thinking things like, well, this new barbecue grill looks so good and nothing bad will happen if I spend a few hundred bucks on it. And it's just a matter of time until the level of your debt starts rising again and you run for Ramsey's book again. So what can you do that is more sustainable? you can get a deeper understanding of how your emotion works, how emotions affect your buying decisions, and what kind of emotions push your triggers. If you do that, your debt level will never rise again and stay as low as your ankles. I recommend you to listen to my two-hour audiobook about it for free. You will find the link in the description box and at the end of this video. If you want to listen to this audiobook somewhere outside, uh, where is no internet connection, you can download it from Audible or Amazon. Thank you so much for watching. I truly know that the audiobook that I recommend might change your spending habits for the rest of your life. If you listen to it now, you won't need to run this book later to help you to cope with your debts. And the next video that I'm working on is about how emotions and intellect interact with each other as we make our buying decisions. If you want to know when it will be posted online, please stay subscribed. And if you read some books about money saving that changed your mindset and helped you a lot, please share the title of that book in the deep comments, because it might be interesting for everyone. Take care and have a nice day.